Hi guys, in this video, we will learn one program which is asked in Infosys coding test round. So this is a program, actual program contains multiple lines and uh, some matrices. Okay. So I just try to explain in brief, like uh, the program is like a, a chess master has a chess board and something, uh, something like this. Okay, and uh, uh, they also provide one function, and uh, uh, that function takes uh, eight input parameters. The type of input parameter is like uh, integer, and uh, we need to complete that function. They also provide uh, uh, three test cases. So this is a overall program. That program, actual program contains multiple lines. Okay, so let's understand uh, what is the exact program, and then we will try to execute that. So this is the explanation of this test cases. So here, if user enter this input then we need to provide one if user the second test case is like if user enter this input then output should be zero third test case is like if user enter this input then output should be eight let's understand the program so if function takes eight integer values may be the position of a four piece on chessboard for example x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 let's understand the test case first so input is a this is the input Let's group them as a four piece. Like we just create a pair for this. So this is a pair. So here we have a two unique positions. Like this is a two unique positions. Mm -hmm. And we need to generate the output like one. The second test case is like this is an input. The pair is like this so here the three one one is a three times and two two is a one time so maybe that's the invalid so we need to generate the output is like zero the third case is like this is a pair for and here all four positions are unique and we need to generate the output like 8 so let's understand in chart so this is the case first unique positions are 2 repeat each 2 times and output should be 1 in test 2 unique positions are also 2 repeat 3 times and we need to generate output as a 0 and in test 3, unit, unique position 4, all are unique and generate output like it. So, we need to write a logic and complete the function. So, the logic is like, so when you complete the function, then you can choose the language. So, I am choosing C sharp language and handle the all three cases. So, this is a function. I just, we just try to execute this and uh, try to understand. So, just copy that. So, here I am just creating one console application. This is a normal console application 
we just try to execute this function so this is the function so here I am just added all three test cases and this is the function we need to complete this function so let's see first we just provide this input so I'm just adding one debugger over here try to put over here and let's see okay. so we will try to execute all three test cases and let's see what is the input and what is the output See now we are calling this function with this value. If you see first we are creating the list object which pair this all input values. For example if you see the position see we just first pair this value ok now we just convert it into the list see the group we just group those position group by and now we just check the count if you see the count is 2 and similar count is also 2 then we need to return 1 this is the one now so if you see the second one The second one, the pair is like this. Now, the position we need to group by and convert it into the list. If you see the group, see here 1122, two. and here, if you see, this is a three times now the count is 2 but here condition is not match then let's move to the next here the count is also not match so it's move to the else part so we have tested only those positions are unique and two position each appearing twice means here we are covering only first and third case for second we are just putting in else part any other cases this is zero okay now we just try to run third case If you see the position is like this now we group by see this is a group the count is 4 and if count is 4 then we need to return 8 So if you understand the logic of this, 
then first we are just create a list object and just pair all input values then we just group by that list object and we just try to check the count for that based on the test cases and we just return the 1 8 and 0 so here we can cover only first and third test case else we are returning 0 so this function we need to complete based on the test cases i hope this is useful you guys so this is a program so i will share this link in description thank you guys